So for ISC 23, we got a brand new camera, the UE160. The UE160 features a brand new sensor and a brand new engine to drive this camera. So we have now full bandwidth NDI in 4K 60p. And also in the lens, we have an optical low pass filter. And that means you can shoot an LED wall and reduce the moiré effect. So normally you'll get round moiré, you'll get square moiré, but with this filter in, you will minimize it. Also, we still have 20 times zoom than in our previous camera. And this one also features high speed output on SDI and HDMI. We have 702110 for the first time in the PDZ camera. And we have optical and electrical stabilization, both for pan and tilt and roll axis. So this is actually a very nice addition to our lineup of PDZ cameras. So this being the top model of 23, try it out. So NDI is getting more and more popular. We see that obviously. Some use it for connecting a computer to your system, connecting a camera obviously, and many of our cameras already support NDI, HX or full bandwidth NDI. So with this new top camera supporting full bandwidth NDI, we'll see new productions get in with top camera models and actually use that for some very special occasions. So for instance, you can break the distance down or you can extend the distance where you're filming from with just one cable. And it makes it easier to do productions that you never have done before. So for instance, in our production studio here at ISE, we have connected everything over IP. So everything is connected via fiber cables, we use 702110, we use NDI for some other stuff, and we can easily connect everything in our booth and send on the signal. So in the old days, we would need to drag uh, tie lines back and forth with SDI. Now we can just use fiber, so it's a lot easier. You can control our cameras different ways. You can definitely use a panel like this, smaller panels, third-party panels. You can also use software. For instance, on the NDI studio monitor, you can control a PDZ camera connected to it via NDI. And we also have some software. For instance, uh, the web interface on every camera allows you to set up presets, and you can then connect to a panel like this and use the same presets on the board. You can also take a computer and download our free software called PDZ Control Center, where you can control multiple cameras at a time. And there, you will extend the ways you're going to use your cameras in the future using it over IP will give you some new opportunities. So what we've done here at ISC, we built a production studio where everything is connected over IP, in and out. So for showing off things like this, we need to have some action going on. So we place the camera crane in the middle and it's actually not a crane, it's a robot and everything is programmed to be handled automatically, like the presets from the cameras going up and down on the stage to the robot arm going through the scene to show off. And actually, we have a lot of people just standing there watching this movement of the robot or movement of the cameras because it looks somehow futuristic. And this is what it's all about, making it easy to control, easy to operate in the future of IP.